So Dr. Lim, what is the one thing you wished you knew upon the onset of your career? The one thing I wished I knew at the onset of my career, and this is going to be interesting, it might be shocking or surprising to some people. Uh, I'm in the service industry, and especially I'm in the health field. I just love people. I love serving people. I love helping people. And a, a big challenge that many of us in the service industry, and especially people that love to see people improve their lives because of the services that we're providing, the business aspect has always been a, a point of, I, I do chiropractic, but then there's ooh, the business of chiropractic. And it's like in Spanish, we call it the mal necesario, the necessary evil that you have to address. And I'm going to tell you, it, it was years. I fought against working on the business, working on the business. because I just love the people. That's all I love to say. But what I found over time was that your business systems, the quality of your business systems determine the quality and reach of your service. So what I find now, as I've gotten older, I work more and more on my business systems because my end goal is to see as many people as I can and to give as great service as I can to those people. So when I wake up in the morning, and I've done this for so many years, I ask myself two questions. And one of my mentors once said, Donnie Epstein, uh, Dr. Uh, Donnie Epstein, great network practitioner. He said, the quality of your questions determine the quality of your life. So I wake up in the morning and I have two questions. And, and the first one is, how can I serve more people? The second question I have is, how can I serve the people that I'm already serving better? So if you can imagine, if that's the entire focus of your life and you work on the business systems around doing that, well, then the end result is you're only going to grow. And I've seen this in personal experience. I started in one chiropractic office in 1996. Now I have 26 chiropractic offices. And I feel honestly like I'm just getting started. There's so much more to do. And what I found is I'm working more and more on those systems because those systems give me time freedom, financial abundance, and ready, better clinical outcomes for my practice members. So it's win and win. And I love those kind of interactions with people.